Hey, good noontime, everybody. This is Home LL8, your noontime update about your $1,400 third stimulus check, which this channel can exclusively report is now undergoing a third wave of payments. A third wave of $1,400 third stimulus checks went out yesterday, Friday. This channel can exclusively report. And now viewers of this channel show that the direct deposit, the direct express, and also the deposit of funds will be available on March 31st. Some viewers have gotten the funds released today. Others show it pending for April 1st. Meantime, the paper checks are getting a new date across the board as well. And that new date is April 2nd. I'll be jumping into the live chat with you right now as we interact and learn about what's going on with viewers in their updates from Direct Deposit, Direct Express, and the IRS tool. Starting right now on Noontime's Alight. Good day, everybody. It's noontime time, LA, direct from Los Angeles, and I hope you are good and safe. I hope you're crushing the weekend, and together we're going to crush it as one family today. If you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Also, like this video. Say hi. I'm in the live chat. I'm literally just watching you right now, and I'm going to literally be jumping in there and reading your comments in just a second. Uh, make sure you subscribe. Also, like this video. Let's see if we can get two, 3,000 likes. And if you're not become a member, consider becoming a member. Today is the day you want to subscribe because today is a big day. Today is a big day in which things will change. And ultimately, things have started to change. Let me go over the details. People are now showing in their direct deposit account, in their direct express card account, and also on the irs.gof tool changes. I told you these changes are going to happen. And these are the changes they're getting. One, a deposit will be occurring March 31st. They're getting the alert. Or they're getting the alert that on April 2nd, they're receiving a check in the mail. Why is this incredible great news? Because this is exactly what this channel was predicting. Yesterday, we learned that the third wave of stimulus checks have gone out. The commissioner, the head of the SSA, confirmed they have gone out, a third wave, after he was asked, where are 30 million checks for SSI, SSDI, Social Security and Railroad Benefits recipients, where are those 30 million checks? He fixed it and said the checks have now gone out, but didn't tell us when. So we went into today, into today Saturday, March 27th, wondering what's going on. And now at a, just before 12 noon on the West Coast, 3 o'clock on the East Coast, we have some clarification. The clarification is coming from you. A week ago today, this channel broke the world exclusive that deposits would occur on March 24th. This was the only channel reporting it anywhere in broadcast news last Saturday that March 24th was going to be a deposit date. And it was. The confirmation came the following Monday, this last Monday, when Treasury said, yes, March 24th is a deposit day. I also reported last weekend that about 50% of the viewers were showing it was not going to come by deposit, but in the mail. And Treasury also confirmed the same, saying that a large, quote, large number of you would get it by the mail, not by direct deposit. So what is the latest update from Treasury? We haven't gotten it. When would we likely get it? Hopefully this Monday. And what are they likely to say? Well, before they say anything, this is what viewers this channel are saying. They are going to the Direct Express site. They are going to their banks. They are going to the IRS tool. And it has changed to now say March 31st is their direct deposit date. They've also seen it change to say that their mail check date is April 2nd. Now, if you are one of the viewers watching this, and I'm going to jump in the live chat right in one second, and you don't show any update yet, don't worry, because these updates come throughout the day. Banks update throughout the day. The IRS tool changes throughout the day. There is not one particular minute or one particular hour in which anything 
automatically updates for everything. If it did, it would crash computers. Computers don't shoot out information for hundreds of millions of processes in 10 seconds, so everything miraculously updates. They update over progression of time. And there we are. Also understand that under the first wave and the second wave, the stimulus checks came often with no prior alert. Under the first stimulus check drop, excuse me, the first wave, not first stimulus check, the first wave, which landed on March 17th, these were the banks that paid stimulus checks and many paid with no prior alert to viewers' this channel. Viewers' this channel got stimulus checks on March 17th, including viewers on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, and Renewal Benefits from Citizens Bank, PNC, Bank Corp, Chime, PayPal, NetSpend, Green Dot, People's United Bank, U.S. Bank, and PNC. Also on St. Patrick's Day, they got paid from PNC Capital One Bank, Lake Michigan United Credit Union, USAA. Also Union Bank, Metabank, MX Bluebird, Navy Federal, BTT, Wood Forest, Bank America Chase, Wells Fargo, and also H&R Block, Green Emerald Card, and TurboTax. If you're seeing that there was no one name missing on that list for March 17th, you're right. Direct Express paid no one on March 17th but they did pay them on the 24th. Direct Express paid on March 24th, along with Chase, Green, uh, Green Dot, Citizens Bank, Bank America, H&R Black, H&R Block, <laughs> Regions Bank, TD Bank, PNC, Wells, Arves, and U.S. Bank. One viewer reports, actually two viewers now report, that NetSpend and Metabank have paid in the last 24 hours. This is the third indication of, well, actually fourth indication of why third wave is underway. Because some banks release the funds before the effective date. Chime, Cash App, H&R Block, and TurboTax release the funds before the first wave even landed on the 17th. They released the funds a few days earlier. They didn't hold them. But generally, big banks do not release the funds before the effective date, which in this case, the next effect, new effective date, is the 31st of March. With that, let me jump into the live chat and see some of the comments you have going on right now. Let me just first jump in and see what's going on. Um, let's see what some of the comments is. April 2nd is Good Friday. Oh, that's a good comment, uh, Norma. I did not notice that. Um, let's see some more of the comments. Do you think we're going to get all of them in the mail and not on the cards, says Janice. Well, last Monday, Treasury said that a large amount of Americans will get them in the mail, even though they got the first and second by direct deposit. Last Saturday, I reported that it was about 50% of the viewers of this channel were getting mail results. I still see that. So let's actually answer, uh, I think it was Genovese, let's answer Genovese's comment right now by asking, mail or not mail? If you have a result at irs.gov and it says mail, drop mail in the results, in, in the comments right now. If IRS shows a result of mail, drop in the comments right now. I asked this on Mornings LA and the comments went flying with people saying, yes, mail April mail March 26. If you have a mail result, drop in the comments right now. There's Jamie, mail 26. Profit, thank you for the super chat. Anyone else have mail 26? Because I think, because a lot of viewers earlier did as well. Oh, there's David Jackson. He says mail April 2nd. So that proves the opening remarks this channel, that April 2nd is the new mail date for some viewers. There's Darina. Good afternoon, LA. Mail 26 is Wesley. David, April 2nd for mail. Ravonda, uh, Ravonda, what day do yours or mail say? Oh, there's another mail April 2nd, TS. So we have a couple of mail April 2nd. There we go. Bertha, mail 26. Willie, no result. Do you think some of the banks will deposit when we get our normal benefits? I think it has nothing to do with one or the other. In fact, Direct Express says it has nothing to do with one or the other. Uh, William, wife has mail 26. Thank you, William. Ravona, mail 26. I appreciate that. Uh, Julie, mail 26. 
And of course, I have some viewers saying I don't have any results. So you see, um, you see the activity there. We now have maybe a handful of viewers who say that they have April 2nd as their deposit, their mail date, which is really quite fascinating. Lavon, mail 26, I haven't received, oh, but I received it on the 22nd. That's a good statement. So there is Lavon who has a mail 26 date, but got it on the 22nd. Uh, there is I am your reflection, March 22nd, uh, March 26, got it on the 24th. So we have some 26s got on the 24th, and we also have some 26s um, that got it on the 22nd. All right, now let me ask for people uh, who have no information, why not? Let's, I have, I have a feeling this is when the comments are going to fly. If you have no information from that IRS tool, drop in the comments right now, no information. If the IRS tool shows no information, Drop in the comments now if it shows no information. Nothing yet, says Diane. No inf no nothing, says Bald Monkey. Uh, nothing, says Art. Lourdes says Mail 26, haven't gotten it. No info, says Sunshine. No info, says Sarah. And there goes the comments. Okay. Now you see what's going on with the comments. They're flying now. No info, no info, no info. So you see how the speed of the comments just picked up. A few had some mail info, but countless, no information from the tool. <clears throat> the chat rate before I asked that question was about a 40. Let's see what the chat rate goes to in a second. It updates itself in just a second. But no information. If the IRS tool is showing no information for you, Drop in the comment, no information. No information anywhere. Uh, uh, Chasenek says, no information anywhere. Charlene says, no information. Uh, Steve says, no information. So you see how, um, oh, checks is in the mail for art. Good news for art. There we go. Iris tool locked me out last week, last night. Yes, yeah, some viewers say that the Iris tool can lock you out if you uh, use it more than five days per five times per day. So we see now why that IRS tool has not really helped viewers. <clears throat> that the IRS tool, when you go to it, um, does not relief, release a result. Some viewers got that message last Saturday, pending deposit on Direct Express card. Other viewers got that alert as well today. But you clearly see a lot of people getting no information and no alert. So the big question is, why is there lack of information and why is there lack of lack of alert? And what does that mean to you? Let me cut back and jump back here. Here's what you need to know if the IRS tool shows no information. You have a series of things you can do. One, you can do the IRS transcript, which I haven't recorded since last Wednesday, which is where you go into the which is where you go to irs.gov. You sign in. You set up a username and passwords for free. You go into the irs.gov website. You sign in, and then you do a transcript search of yourself. And when you do a transcript search of yourself, it'll show the most recent activity. And the most recent activity should say economic impact payment, EIP. And it should have a date. Sometimes the transcript releases results that are not available to you when you use that IRS tool. Number two, you can also use some of the apps that allow you to double check the correct way in which your address is listed. The IRS tool is very finicky about the spelling, punctuation, and the punctuation of an address. So if you abbreviate Avenue is AV, or you abbreviate Avenue is AVE, period. It can be very finicky and result with no results of your information because it doesn't realize who you are. Third, the big banks last weekend told one viewer that a big drop was going to occur. Chase last weekend told one viewer there was going to be a drop on the 24th. Another big bank, Wells, told another viewer a big drop was going to happen on the 24th. How would this happen this time around? And how did it particularly happen last time around? Presumably what's going on is basically word of mouth. 
It's word of mouth. They can't tell you what's going on in someone else's bank account, but they can certainly say, we have heard that there's going to be a draw. Now, you and I have heard, because we're the viewers of this channel, that there is a drop occurring on the 31st. Why? One, I've had viewers since last night send me private messages of direct deposits pending for March 31st of their stimulus check, and they confirm it is their stimulus check. Second, I've had viewers send me private messages that they have direct express alerts that there's a pending deposit of March 31st and April 1st. Third, I've had viewers get money today and yesterday of $14, which is third wave stimulus. It's money after it was sent out. It's not second wave stimulus from the week before. No, no, no. This is third wave stimulus. This is what IRS always explains, that some banks don't hold the funds to the effective date of the, of the 31st. They release ahead of time. And finally, we have people who have gone to the IRS tool that says now the 31st. Then the paper check, we have viewers who are getting alerts from the paper check that now show April 2nd. You saw in the chat here where we had even more viewers, I think about three or four in the chat here that said April 2nd. I had more earlier today, about five or six that had April 2nd. So we see April 2nd as a big date for the paper checks. The things that we don't have clarity about are why so many paper checks now on April 27th have yet to be delivered when the IRS tool says the 26th. What does that tool mean when it shows a check mail date? What does it mean? I'll have all those details coming up for you in a second, but let's watch a new video from the White House released overnight in which the president talks about equal pay during this pandemic and the importance of keeping everyone at a certain pay level. And I'll be back with you in just a second with more about this $14 stimulus check. I made $7,500 and a man was hired the same time and they offered him $10,000. I've helped win four World Cup championships and four Olympic gold medals for the United States. Despite those wins, I'm still paid less than men who do the same job that I do. The strength of unequal pay rests on the notion of unequal value. It is an issue of equity. Invest in women. Then let's talk again when you see the return. I was talking with the 80 cents on the dollar, 85 cents, and it's real, that's not, that's not the number. It's about 52 cents for a yeah. Hispanic woman. One of the things I'm proudest of, well, we're gonna reduce child poverty by 40%. But it's about focusing on caregivers too. So many women are out of the workforce because they had to choose between taking care of their elderly mom and their son or daughter that's home or go to work. So often the work is left to the people that it's affecting most. We're doing the best that we can with what we have, but to have it obviously come from the very top is the most important. I think we're making enormous progress. No, I think there was a huge seismic shift last year. Inequities in our society were sort of laid very bare. Yeah, and yeah, for sure. I think a lot of white people, especially, mm -hmm. dropped the innocence part of. And there you go. Meantime, Dr. Fauci overnight spoke about the resurgence of the virus. I'll have that video coming up shortly. But let me jump back into the live chat and interact with you right now. One of the things I want to know is a little bit more about this mail check situation because it's a big one. We have a lot of viewers with this March 26 date and not getting the check. Let me see some of your comments now. If you are a person who has that tool and has a March 26 date, drop in the comments what happened with you, whether you got it, what day you got it. I know some viewers got it before the 26th, and I know thousands have not gotten it, but I want to see if we see more clarity about what's going on with this 26 mail check situation. Uh, Kalisha drops a comment about what Direct Express is saying. Direct Express's tape recording and its website posting predate anything. They're very outdated comments, uh, outdated remarks from the 15th. And viewers should not repeat them because they predate the most recent update from Treasury, which was last Monday. Can you imagine today is the, uh, you know, today is the 27th. It's not appropriate to record to re, to rely upon data from the fifteenth, which was before even the first wave. Um, no check said it would be me mailed the twenty second. Says Julie, I appreciate that. My wife and it hasn't arrived as of yet. Says Steve. 
Mine said it would be mailed on the 26th. So if you're 26, also say that you haven't gotten it. <laughs> so I know that you haven't gotten it. Miss Marie, 26, not gotten it. Thank you, Miss Marie. Uh, De Denise, 26, not gotten it. Someone says, can you specifically speak about Comerca? It's not a bank situation. The fault is not the banks. The fault is Treasury not sending out the stimulus checks. Uh, thank you for your comment. March 26, and I got it today, and it's a card, says Sandra. Okay, now this is very helpful. So Sandra did get it today, and it came late. You know, it's, what is it, 3 o'clock on the East Coast now. So just happening right now. Um, March mailed date 26, nothing yet, says Sherry. March, uh, that was Sandra. Got mine today from the 26, $4,200 for two, says Tom Jones. Uh, <laughs> I think you got a, a tip on yours as well, Tom Jones. So Tom, Tom was looking for, for, for <laughs> Tom was looking for, uh, $2,800. They got almost $4,000. So congratulations, Tom. I'm not quite sure what that is. Maybe you're taking us for pizza later. Um, there's today to mommy. March 26th, not yet. So the good news is we see, a, what was that, three viewers who suddenly got it showing up today from the 26th. I got my SSA. I paid to, on the 1st, but 14 are not yet, says, um, says Janet. Thank you. Uh, Direct Express gives 12 to 24 day advance notices of penny deposits. Amelia, that's actually untrue. I have viewers who have sent me um, the, the Direct Express alerts for Wave 2 and Wave 3. The Wave 2 alerts they got the Saturday before the Wednesday, and I got one from a viewer between the last video and this one for next Wednesday as well. So they don't just send out alerts, you know, two weeks ahead of time. They send out alerts when they get it. Understand that this alert for Wave 2, a viewer had last Saturday, 20, the first day the funds were available because the funds were sent out on Friday. On the next day, Saturday, they got the alert. Same thing happened today. So I, I know there's a lot of sort of, uh, sort of discussion about how things are going, but people have gotten alerts from Direct Express last Saturday for a deposit that happened last Friday. And today, people are getting alerts from Direct Express for a, for a deposit pending for next week because the funds went out yesterday. Uh, the Viper. Why does Direct Express have that alert still up? I don't know. <laughs> Take it up with them. I have no idea. It's not accurate. It's not accurate. It's not accurate to say a, a, a deposit is pending weeks from now. March 26, no check, says Julie. Thank you, Julie, for your comment. Mine says to be mailed on the 26th to my address, says Taconda. March 26, date nothing yet, says Lizetta. My mail comes at 5 to 6 o'clock. Check or card may come, Lisa. Let me cut over to discuss that check in the card envelope because I haven't done that recording in a few days. Let me see if I have that card here, that envelope right now. So I, oh, I do. <laughs> As I stretch myself on the set. How are you? <laughs> Can you move on over? Uh, Sir Lloyd would say, here we go. Here's an envelope. Not any envelope, a stimulus check envelope. <laughs> this is the second stimulus, the $600 stimulus check envelope. This is what you want to look for in the mail. I got to tell you, a lot of people threw it away under second stimulus. And I've already heard some viewers throw it away under third stimulus. This is the envelope. This was the envelope for the debit card, not for the check. There are two types of envelopes and two possible, well, there's two types of things you can get in the mail and two different types of envelopes you can get. The They could be sending you a check or they could be sending you a debit card. They could be sending you a beige envelope, or they could be sending you a white envelope. The 
beige envelope looks a little bit more official because a lot of people don't use beige envelopes. But when you look at it, it doesn't jump off the page and say, oh my God, is that really a stimulus check? It's not so obvious. This one is about as unobvious as a stimulus check as it could be. Very skinny, very thin, easy to throw away. It looks like junk mail. It just looks like junk mail. It's a very skinny, thin envelope. And understand that if it's the check, it's just one little piece of paper in the envelope. It's just one little piece of paper in the envelope. And that's how easy it is to throw it away. If it is the debit card, it's just a little bit thicker. And it, it is very easy to throw it away. That one is white, no logo on the outside, no seal. And all it says is in, information about your economic impact payment enclosed in, inside. That's all it says. So what's important to understand is make sure you know what this thing looks like. Take your time and go through the mail slowly over the next few days because I don't want you to throw away anything, especially if it's a stimulus check. I'll jump more into the live chat with you in a second, but let's listen in to a new video from Dr. Fauci and Dr. Walensky when asked about the new variant surge of B117, the most deadly and the most disconcerting variant, the London variant. Let's listen in. The time, uh, Jeff, can you give us an update on supply? Do you think the vaccine manufacturers are going to hit their Q1 targets, are, have, are you having any hiccups there or are things looking good? And Dr. Fauci or Dr. Walensky, I'm wondering also if you can give us an update on the variants, in particular how widely spread that B117 is in the U.S. Thank you. All right, let's go in reverse order. Uh, Dr. Walensky, Fauci, do you want to talk about the variants? Uh, we continue to scale up our, our surveillance of the variants. Um, the uh, B117 has now been detected in, in 51 jurisdictions, um, over 8,000 cases. We're watching it very closely. Um, it, it is, you know, our, our uh, percent of those, of, of the variants is a little bit lagging behind our data because um, it takes a while to do the sequences and, and to sequence the variants and do that population-based analysis. But yes, we're worried about the increase. Yeah, the, the issue is the dynamics of the increase are telling us that it was gonna to continue to be a greater proportion. Because if you look from week to week, 117 becomes more of a percentage. And as the percentage goes up, that's a reflection that it has the capability to become dominant. Let me jump into the live chat right now. Um, what's important to understand is accuracy of situation. You know, when we're chatting about stimulus checks and we're chatting about receipt of the stimulus checks, there is often the discussion of people saying no one or nothing or nada. Don just wrote, Comerca is the bank that no one at all has received a stimulus check. Don, that's absolutely categorically untrue. Categorically untrue. Let me explain what's going on. Is that along the way, some people hear a situation and sort of magnify it and then repeat it so that other people think that no one has gotten anything, anywhere, anytime, anyhow. Viewers got stimulus checks by direct deposit on the Direct Express card on March 24th. Not a lot, not a lot. But viewers who also have the Direct Express card got alerts before the 24th and got it on the card on the 24th. Viewers who have the Direct Express card got it on the card on the 24th, having not priorly, previously gotten an alert. And viewers who have the card also got it in the mail, not on the card. Meantime, viewers also today got alerts from Direct Express card that it's coming on the 31st. So this sort of nothing, nowhere, no how, not particularly accurate. But thank you for your comment. I appreciate it greatly. Um, what's also important to understand is that People have asked about SSI and SSDI specifically. Again, this is a very peculiar situation because people on SSI and SSDI got stimulus checks in the first 24 hours in which it became a law. Some got stimulus checks that very first Friday. And of course, thousands of hundreds of thousands is not. But some got it within the first 24 hours. Some got it the f and they were on Cash App and Chime and um and then the following Monday, before St. Patrick's Day, they got it on H&R Block, Green Emerald Card, and TurboTax. On the 17th, people on SSI and SSDI got it from this enormous list of viewers, which I go over always on this channel. 
on the 17th, these were viewers on SSI, SSI, SSDI, and Social Security and Railroad Benefits, which banks they got stimulus checks from. Citizens Bank, PNC, Bank Corp, Chime, PayPal, NetSpend, Green Dot, People United Bank. Also, they got from U.S. Bank, PNC, Capital One, Lake Michigan, Union Bank, and MetaBank. MX Bluebird, Navy Federal, BBT, Wood Forest, USAA, Bank America, Wells Fargo, H&R Block, and Cash and um, TurboTax. Not on that list for St. Patrick's Day, of course, was Direct Express Card. No one got it on the 17th or before the 17th. They got it after the 17th. They got it on the second wave. And that's when they got the alerts before it coming. On the 24th, the second wave, these are the banks that paid out stimulus checks to viewers. Direct Express, Chase, Green Dot, Citizens Bank, Bank America, Regions Bank, TD Bank, PNC Wells, Arves, and U.S. Bank. Meantime, third wave. Viewers on third wave who have gotten stimulus checks now are NetSpend, Net Spend, MetaBank, and people who have gotten alerts so far are credit unions, big banks, and Direct Express Card have given alerts that a third stimulus check is landing on the 31st by direct deposit. They've also got alerts that it's coming by mail check on April 2nd. Let me jump back into some of the live chat right now. Um, let's see what some of the other people are saying. I have no deposit date. It's still uh, pending, says Carolyn Gavin. Thank you for your comment, Carolyn. Stay positive. It will come. Uh, Chris Minix, the tool is not working. So do you have a date yet for SSI? Well, we do have a date for a big drop for deposits of March 31st. It may include you. It may not include you. And we also have a date of third wave for mail check of April 2nd, which may or may not include you, Chris, as well. But yes, that has occurred for viewers on SSI. Thank you for your great comment. Uh, I haven't gotten mine and no update yet on the arrival, Julie. So stay attentive because IRS tool may update itself for you as well. Good afternoon, Ellie. Thank you, Jenny. How are you? On the IRS, Ethan Freyer, on the IRS portal tool, I have a 17th scheduled payment date and I've never received it. So it's making me upset. I'm trying to stay patient. So let me talk about Ethan's circumstance. Ethan's circumstance is actually a good circumstance. And here's why it's good for you, Ethan. If you have information on the IRS tool, I always say it's better than no information. Because what's happened with viewers is, is the information gets updated. Ethan, the reason why the 17th is a good thing to have listed for you is because a lot of the viewers, the information later gets updated. It, could, it got changed last week from 17th to 24th for some viewers. Meantime, some viewers have already seen the mail check get changed. So stay with the tool and watch it. Try the transcript and go in there and see if the transcript shows the 17th as well. And the 17th doesn't continue to show a direct deposit it doesn't continue to change itself and stay there, you may want to reach out to IRS because if that date stays there after about two weeks and it's still not updated, there might be something at issue. Also, uh, Ethan, another thing you could do, I don't know if I have it on this screen here, is the informed consent from uh, U.S. Postal Service. I don't. You can go to Google and look up an informed, excuse me, informed delivery where you can see if something's in the mail and ultimately track it. There may be a delivery issue for the 17th day. Thank you for that great comment. Hey, LA, I'm on SSDI. What if I moved, uh, let me uh, jump over here. Hold on I'm on SSI. What if I moved since last stimulus? No information on the IRS to get my payment. So, Deborah, um, your situation is the one that always worries me. There's only one situation I worry about, and that's people who move. I'm not quite clear how to fix this situation. Yours is the only one that I really worry about is when you've moved addresses, they may not know the new address. What the solution of the, of the situation so far is to stay with me because IRS has given a lot of advisories. I think I just saw that advisory here. Um, IRS has given a lot of advisories, and those advisories have said, we're going to update you on to how 
to give us new information if something has changed. Um, that's not the advisory. This, uh, oh well, one of these was the advisory where IRS said, we will tell you how to update your information with us to ensure that we get it. Oh, this was the advisory right here. We will ensure, we will tell you how to update your information if you change locations and you need to request that third stimulus check. A lot of details um, and a lot of things are happening. And guess what? It's time for Afternoons at Light. Thank you for your big, for your interaction today. Very, very helpful in a day in which there's a lot of sale things happening. Um, with that, let me give you the big update. The big update of you join at the end of this video is that March 31st looks like the new effective date for delivery of third wave of $14 stimulus checks. This channel is exclusively reporting that a third wave of stimulus checks went out last Friday, this last Friday, after Commissioner Saul, head of SSA, confirmed that stimulus checks have gone out to 30 million Americans, including the people on SSI and SSDI here had not gotten their stimulus checks. This channel is now exclusively reporting that the third wave of stimulus checks will land for some Americans and viewers of this channel on March 31st by direct deposit. How do we know this? Because one, they've got an alert from their bank that it's happening. Two, they've got an alert from IRS tool that's happening. Or three, they've got an alert from direct deposit that it's happening. Yes, the direct, excuse me, direct express card that's happening. Finally, some viewers actually have the funds now. They have now actually cleared overnight and they've had the funds. Meantime, viewers now see an update on the IRS tool for some of them that shows the check is coming in the mail with a delivery date of April 2nd. Among the questions that remain unclear are why some people with the tool still show no results and why are some people, thousands and thousands of viewers of this channel, still show the tool on April 26th but have yet to receive the check. The suggestions that I'm seeing right now indicates that it may still be in route to your mail. I have a lot of viewers now at about three o'clock on the East Coast who have just reported receiving the April 26th check today, the 27th. So it may be delayed. That's the great news. If you've not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Also like this video. I don't want you to miss a single video throughout the day, so make sure you subscribe. I don't want you to miss anything that's happening because today, Saturday, is a big day. This is the big day where everything changes, and I don't want you to go into Monday saying, what did I miss? <laughs> stay informed, stay focused, keep on smiling. Uh, don't, uh, don't go to the casino too late because, you know, they have that, that VIP door after a certain hour for the special $12 ice cream uh, connoisseurs. And I'll see you in just a little bit uh, as we go into Afternoons Alight. <laughs>